golden rule is that a, a husky cannot be allowed access to your front gates because if that gate is open, the dog will generally run out of it. And even though some people say, oh, they've trained their dog not to run out the gate, if they see something running past or walking past, they're going to run out and they're going to chase out the gate. And they can cover a, a, a very a vast distance in a very short time. So that's why a lot of them that get out um, to get lost because they, they go so far that they actually can't find their way back home again. So in my case, the dogs are confined to the back garden, which is big enough for them here, um, unless my front gate is locked, physically locked with a padlock, and I have the key, and then I let them out in the front garden at night and things like that, just to explore around. But, uh, but then when we go to bed, the dogs come inside, and uh, they actually stay in the house at night for security reasons, for their own well-being and, and that sort of thing as well, yes. They're, they're extremely uncomplicated in most cases, um, and, and the, but the biggest thing is probably one of the most sociable breeds that you can get. Um, unlike a lot of people seem to think that they make good guard dogs because they look like a wolf, totally the opposite. Extremely friendly dogs, they, they love to be part of a pack, so they like, to, um, they, they like to be with their family the whole time, and their family can include other dogs in the family and the humans as well. So you'll find if you're sitting around in the house at night, they'll be with you. If you're out in the garden, they'll follow you around in the garden. Um, my dogs, when, I'm, when I go to bed at night, they come and lie next to the bed next to me and they sleep next to me. So that's, that's really what they're all about. They're all about being companions and, and having you as a companion. And you'll find they'll evolve a sort of a pack hierarchy as well. So um, as we, where we as the humans, as a sort of, they see us as the top of the chain, they'll have a hierarchy within their own pack of dogs as well. And one will be the boss and the others will sort of follow that lead and so on. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's a very... Um, they're, they're not really a, um, a difficult dog to understand, but they do need to be close companions. They need that close companionship with their humans all the time. One of the things um, with Huskies is they're, they're not the kind of dog that you can train to sit and stay. And if, if you throw a ball for a Husky, your Husky's going to look at you and he's going to say, you threw it, you go fetch it, sort of thing. Um, so so they're, they're not into that kind of, of, of normal training that you can expect from some other breeds. But what they do love to do is to run. They're born to run, they're bred to run, um, and that's really what they do. And pull, of course, they're sled dogs. Um, so we do, we allow them, we, we have special harnesses that we can use for them um, that allow them to to exercise properly with the, you know by pulling and so on um, and and obviously that suits the type of person that is that is into going out and jogging and and walking and that kind of thing because it then allows you to bond more with your dog doing what your dog loves to do and you can join him in doing it and in fact in winter we even take the dog sledding even in South Africa yeah we can only do it in winter when it's cool enough but we have a, a dry land sledding club where we actually take the huskies out to and um, then they they get to pull us on our mountain bikes and things like that and they, they really love that because again that's that's what they like to do not a couch potato dog at all they've got to be kept stimulated they, they otherwise they're going to get bored they're going to you know that's when people start having problems with them if they think they can just leave them in a courtyard and not interact with them in any way at all um, then sometimes then they start digging up gardens and digging up plants purely because they've got nothing else to do so they need to have the stimulation interaction that kind of thing they need you to come out just play with them and and, and interact with them and then as, as often as you can walk them you know ideally they should be walked probably three to four times a week just to keep the energy levels you know some energy burnt off and the energy levels down but if you can only manage two to three times a week that's probably more than enough anyway and they'll adapt to that so that's fine